And now the starting lineups for today's boys varsity basketball game. First, for the visiting Rochester Zebras. At guard is a five foot eight junior, number two, Drew Boyers Bowers. At guard, he's a six foot one sophomore, number 24, Carson Pollock. At forward, he's a six foot two junior, number 11, Tanner Reiners. At forward, he's a six foot junior, number 20, Owen Prater. And at forward, he's a six foot one junior, Number 23, Bryce Bogger. The Rochester Zebras are head coached by Rob Malcolm. He is assisted by Luke Smith, Rex Reinhold, and Sean Kelly. And now, get loud and get on your feet for your Lewis. Quite a bit, so mm -hmm. as uh, it's always a, a nice place. Uh, Greg Marchand, the AD here, does a great job, and want to yeah. thank him for his hospitality. So we get ready to go. It's gonna be Bogger, and who do they put out there? Looks like Rudd's gonna be the one to jump. Trey Johnson's a lot like his brother Tyson, who graduated a couple years yeah. ago. He he's a point guard who doesn't shoot very often. A, a very an old school point guard, but. Uh, takes great pride in his defense. He's number zero in white. Tip is up and going to be brought to you by Farm Credit Mid-America. And Johnson has it for the Cass Kings. He'll control it from the get-go. Zebras in the man defense. They go to the right side. Now to Dieter. Dieter around the screen. Dieter into the paint. Dieter throws up a jumper from the elbow. Short. And the rebound comes away to uh, Reinerts. Boy, Hillis sets some man-sized screens. Quickly ahead, Bowers fakes a three, now gives it up to Tanner, top of the key. And near side now to Bogger. Bogger goes in to Prater. Prater brings it back out to the left corner. Now they swing it right side. Now here's T Reinerts. Reinerts into a Prater who cut the back door, goes up off the glass too hard. Rebound comes away to uh, Rudd. Rudd will get it ahead. Far side over to Lau. Lau has it now top of the key to Hillis. Hillis drives in, kicks it out to Johnson. Johnson in the paint, throws up a running jumper, no good. Tanner Reinerts with a rebound. Just as I say that, he, he takes a shot he typically yeah. doesn't take. Three on the way for Bowers off the front of the iron, no good, tipped out of bounds. It's gonna stay with the Zebras. Nope, it's gonna go to Lewis Cass. But it's worth mentioning that Rochester helped off Johnson. Yeah. Basically said, hey, you wanna shoot it? Here you go. Here is Lewis Cass with the basketball now, thrown ahead from Johnson. Yeah, it goes to Lau. Lau in the corner, back to Johnson. Johnson, top of the key, comes to the near side, now to Rudd. 6.50 to go here in the opening quarter. We're still scoreless on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Johnson backs it back out and resets the offense. Goes to Dieter near the near side. Dieter now goes over to Rudd. Rudd back to Dieter, top of the key. Dieter has the basketball. Dieter guarded by Bowers. Rochester in the man. They go to Lau. Lau goes into the paint, kicks it back out. 
Hillis at the top of the key, puts it on the floor, goes up off the rim, good. LJ Hillis gets the Kings on the board first. It's 2 0 Lewis Cass. Quickly downs Reinert's three on the way, in and out, no good. And the rebound comes away to Lau. Lau has it stripped by Prater, but Prater stepped out of bounds or slid out of bounds, I should say, and it'll be Cass basketball at the timeline. Well, Hillis is another big guy with a pretty good handle, uh, able to drive in off the dribble for that basket. Bryce Bogger having to work. He's going to have his hands full again tonight. Lau, they get double team him. They go over the top to Dieter. Dieter at the far block has his shot blocked by Reinerts. Reinerts with the rebound. Quickly ahead now to Bowers. Bowers pull up 15 footer off the mark. No good. Pollock with the rebound. Back up and good. Carson Pollock ties the ball game at two with 5.50 to go here in this first quarter. Here comes Johnson. Now he'll bring it across the timeline. Johnson. High ball screen. Gets a screen by Hillis, and now we're going to have a pushing foul against Pollock. That'll be his first, team first of the quarter. And uh, out of bounds now to Lewis Cass. Quarterback fouling a quarterback. <laughs> yeah. 5.40 to go here in the opening quarter. 2-2 two -two is our score. Johnson has the basketball. I mean, Hillis sets a ton of screens, yeah. and he, he makes sure you notice them. Dieter has it. Back up I to mean, Johnson. They're, they're, they're legal screens, but yeah. he sets a lot of them. Three-man guard out front. They're yeah. trying to look it down low. Now they get it to Hillis. Now it goes into Rudd and a reach-in foul coming against the Zebras. It's going to be team number two, and it's going to be called against Reinhardt. It's his first. Kings will inbound. Hillis will do so. LJ Hillis looking to get it in. Throws it over the top to Dieter. Dieter, top of the key, back to Ellis, back out to Loaf. Right wing, three ball on the way, way off the mark. Pollock with a rebound, quickly out to Bowers. Bowers will bring him up the middle of the floor. Bowers goes right side now to Pollock. Pollock looks at Bogger in the right corner. Bogger, a couple dribbles over the top to Reinerts. Reinerts trips, ball's loose on the ground. We're going to have a tie-up, and it'll stay with Rochester. Not sure what, Tanner just kind of, I think he, gonna, Yeah, get his feet mixed up almost. Yeah. 5.03 to go here in the first. 2-2. Two -two. Inbounds from Bowers comes to Reinerts. Now it's to Prater. Prater back to Bowers. Free throw line. He'll back it back out and reset the offense. Well, Trey Johnson's a 6-2 and Drew Bowers yeah. is 5-8, so it's going to be hard to see over the top. Prater around low. No good. Gets his own rebound. Goes back up and a foul coming. And it's going to be the first on Lewis Cass. We'll wait and see to make sure who they whistle it on. It's going to be number three, Bryce Rudd. Rudd picks up his first. That will bring into the contest Colton Young. Young in, Lau out. Zebras will inbound. Bowers looking to get it in. Does to Prater. Prater fakes the handoff. Tries to drive baseline. Cut off by Young. Bring it back out. Young, or excuse me. Prater against Young. Now Reiner's not a bogger. Bogger, left corner. Top of the key. Pollock three on the way. Good. Pollock's got all five of the Zebra points and they lead five to two. Good patience on that possession by Rochester. Top of the key to Hillis. Hillis has it now to Rudd. And Rudd was cutting towards the basket. Hillis didn't see him. Throws it out of bounds. Turnover, Lewis Cass. You know, that's what's going to take in this game. Yeah. I don't know if you're just going to run up and down the floor on these guys. They're, they're, uh, they take great pride in their defense. And again, Johnson kind of spearheads their defense. Pollock has it, hands it off to Bowers. Bowers back to Reinerts. Reinerts with the handoff. Gives it off to Bowers to Bogger. Bogger into the free throw line. Here's Pollock again off the mark. No good. Deep rebound comes to Hillis. LJ Hillis has the basketball. He'll bring it up himself. Hillis gets a screen from Young. Hillis tries to go back to the middle. He can't do so, but finds Dieter down low. Up no good and a foul coming. And that's going to be on, if that's on Pollock, that's two. And it is. Carson Pollock with two quick ones here in the first quarter. Team foul number three, but uh, Dieter will go to the line to shoot two. Brendan Dieter at the line for his first opportunity for free throws here. First one short. He'll have one more, but Robert Bazo coming in for Rochester. He'll replace Pollock. Uh, another guy who uh, I really appreciate seeing him in person is Rudd. His length defensively can be a problem. He's every bit of 6'3", and he's got really long arms. Dieter with the second one. 
Five to three, Rochester leads at 3.50 to go here in the quarter. Quickly up the floor to Bazo. Bazo back to Bowers. Swings it right side, now down in the corner to Reinerts. Reinerts has it. Back up top to Bowers. Drew will reset, goes right side to Tanner. Tanner, guarded by Dieter. Gives it up to Bogger. Swings it to Bowers. Bowers looking for an open Bazo. Finds him on the right side. Now to Bogger. He dribbles, loses the basketball. Now he's double teamed. Swings it over the top to Reinerts. Back to Bogger. Right wing. Three on the way. Pretty deep. And a rebound comes away to Reinerts. His little 10 foot fade away. No good, but a foul coming. And I believe that's going to be on Lewis Cass. And it is. It's on Brennan Dieter, his first team second. That will bring in Brody Hillis, and he'll replace Dieter. So now two Hillis is on the floor, LJ and Brody. They get it into Tanner. Tanner guarded by LJ Hillis. Now they give it up to Prater. Prater to Bowers. Bowers guarded by Johnson. Swings it left side. Now to Bogger into the paint. Bogger gives it off to Prater. Prater guarded by Young, kicks it out to Tanner. Swings it right side now to Drew. Drew with the top of the key to Bogger. Bogger, three minutes to go in the quarter. Bryce will dribble his way in, throws up a wild shot, but gets his own rebound. He's going to go up with it, and he's going to get fouled, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. You, know, you think about Bryce's progression as a player, and you think about that sectional game last year in which Bryce played really, really well off the bench against these Kings. I'm sure they knew who he is. Bryce Rudd picks up his second, so now Coach Brantz has a starter with two as well here, still early in the first. Bogger's first free throw is good. And you know what Coach Malco, Coach Malco talked about in the pregame about how physical Lewis Cass is, physical like they seemingly always have been. Lau's back in for Rudd. But now the Zebras are at a point where they can match that physical play. They're not going to get overpowered, so to speak. And so. what that... Bogger misses that one. There is Young with the rebound. Ahead to Johnson. Quickly down to Lau. Lau has it in the corner. He passes it back up top. Gets it back. Now they swing it down in the corner. Swings it back up top to Lau. Johnson top the key. Back to Lau. Lau has the basketball to Johnson. Now near side to LJ Hillis. Hillis. One dribble. Gives it back up to Johnson. To Lau. They're trying to work in the paint. LJ Hillis catches. Goes around. Bazo goes up off the glass. No good. The ball's tipped. Picked up by Barger. Yeah, I think that Boy, this would be a good day to play good zone defense because <laughs> I don't think Lewis Cass has many long-range bombers from outside. Bogger to the hole. Bogger is going to be fouled, and that's going to be on Young, I believe. And it is his first, team fourth. So Rochester will be shooting the bonus the rest of the quarter. 2.13 still remaining. Bogger back to the free throw line where he was one of two last time. Jonas Kaiser getting ready to check in after this first free throw. Free throws good for Bogger. Seven to three. Bazo's out. Kaiser in. Coach Brands cannot like the fact that Coach Brands wants a timeout. Bogger's been able to penetrate in the lane pretty easily. It's a 30 second timeout with 2.13 to go. Zebras lead seven to three on Giant and FM and RTC TV4. And at 190, Colin Wien loses the regional final to Vincent Freeman from Penn, mm -hmm. seven to five. Vincent Freeman's dad, you might have heard of him. It would be Marcus Freeman, the football coach in ah. Notre Dame. And I saw Vincent Freeman. He is a yeah. stud. <laughs> he, is a, he is a dude. Bogger, second one, misses it, and the rebound comes away to Cass. 7-3, to three, still our score here at Lewis Cass. Down low, Lau gets it. Lau gives it up to Young. Young up off the glass, short, gets his own rebound, goes back up again. Good this time. Seven to five. Quickly down is Rochester. Bowers with the basketball. Nice job by, that started with Lau being able to run the baseline behind the zone. Minute 45 to go here in the opening quarter. Zebras lead by two. Bowers has it. Now they go to Bogger. Now down to Kaiser. Kaiser's pass is kicked. And now the Zebras will have it out of bounds on the baseline. Randy and Val, glad you could join us here this afternoon for conference basketball. Zebras looking to inbound. Bowers up top now to Reinhardt. Gets it back to Bowers. Three on the way from the corner. Good. No, it does not bounce, but a foul called. And that one is going to be against 24. Brody Hillis, his first. 
Team's fifth, but that will send Drew Bowers to the line to shoot three free throws. Been better if it uh, would have got it and could have had a four-point play. Yeah, I don't think – they didn't have many four-point plays this year. No. First one's missed by Bowers. Tal Talon Zyder of Cass, I know, is like three or four four-point plays yeah. already this year. He, he just has that knack. Bowers, second one, off the mark again. 0 for 2, the, and Rochester still just leading by 2 with a minute 38 to go on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Mm, Rochester 2 for 6 as a team. It finally gets that one to bounce in. 1 of 3 for Drew. Back to a 3-point lead, 8 to 5. Here's Trey Johnson with the basketball for the Kings. He brings it to the near side. Picked up by Bogger. Now up top to Young. Young has it against Prater. Looking for Johnson. Now they give it off to Lau. Lau on the far side. Back up top to Johnson. Johnson holds. Couple of dribbles looking for LJ. Finds Hillis on the corner. LJ with the basketball. Goes down low to Brody. Brody turn around off the glass. Good. Yeah, that was uh, a mismatch. Drew Bowers cannot guard in the post. Uh, Eight, Brody Hillis seven. The There's Young one. with a steal. Young, right hand layup. No, it's going to be fouled. And Bryce Bogger will pick up his first, but he's going to make him earn it as he goes to the charity strike. Eight to seven, a one-point game with 63 seconds remaining. And Young now at the free throw line for two. He's got a field goal for two points so far. This one is good for Young. He's got three now. Tie ball game, eight to eight. He'll have another opportunity to take the lead. And he does. Young's second free throw is also good. Nine to eight. Cass up by one. 60 seconds remaining. Bowers with the basketball here in this opening quarter at Lewis Cass High School. Prater down low at the block, kicks it back out. Reinert's three straight away, in and out, no good. Fight for the rebound, and we're going to be against Kaiser, I believe, as the official points the other direction, and it is. Jonas Kaiser picking up his first, team fifth. So we'll go to the other end and shoot two. So we'll see Johnson will be the shooter. Trey Johnson, no points so far this afternoon. Looking for his first two here. Nine to eight, Cass leads. Looking to extend on this one point lead. Free throw, no good. Wrestling update, Alex Deming of Rochester's a regional champ at 215. Cool, good for Alex. Pinned Cameron Kaufman of Warsaw in the regional final. Beat him in the sectional final last week. Beat him in the regional final today. Second free throw missed as well. Kaiser with a rebound. Off to Prater, or excuse me, off to Reiner to head to Bowers. Trying to go down low. They get it to Prater this time at the block. Pay one dribble, kicks it back out. Kaiser, top of the key. Out to Bogger. Bogger penetrates, kicks it to Kaiser. Left side now to Bowers. Bowers, high pass. Kaiser had to go get that one. 25 seconds to go. Reinerts baseline, head fakes, and going to be fouled by LJ Hillis as he goes up for the block. And that will send Tanner Reinerts to the free throw line for his first points. 23.4 seconds to go in the quarter. Tanner Reinerts has a free throw coming and takes his time, and this one is good. Tied at nine. And we have a substitution. Brennan Dieter coming back in, and he'll replace L.J. Hillis. Let's see how long L.J. sits on the bench here. Might just, you know, he's got the quarter break, so in addition to the last 23.4 yeah. seconds, so. Free throw is in and out, back in. Reinhardt has two. They take a lead 10-9. to nine. Rochester with kind of a three-quarter court press here. And that one goes up for Brody. Brody Hillis has four points. Now it's a one-point king game. Six seconds. Prater with the basketball. Prater loses it. At the buzzer, here's a three for Rudd. No good. And uh, the end of the first quarter, Cass owns a one-point lead, 11-10. to 10. 
here at the uh, Lewis Cass High School. Jenny's Insurance Scoreboard back with more Giant FM and RTC TV. And Prater to start the quarter. It's Young, Rudd, uh, let's see, Brody Hillis, Dieter, and Lau on the floor to start the quarter for the Lewis Cascade. I imagine the phrases defense and energy were mentioned by Coach Malco in the huddle there. Lau has it, goes to the far side, now brings it back up top to Lau. Lau will back it back out and reset the offense for Lewis Cass. Goes right side to Dieter. That looked close Dieter. to a walk. Around the screen, now out to Lau. Lau, he'll fire a three on the way, no good. Rebound to Brody Hillis, up and off the glass, no good. Kaiser gets the rebound this time, gets it ahead to Bowers. Bowers with the basketball. Right side now to Tanner. Tanner cross court to Prater. He'll drive the baseline, kicks it back out to Bowers. Bowers around his defender to Kaiser. One more pass there in the corner and out of Bogger. Back to Tanner. Tanner just inside the three-point line. No good. And Young with a rebound. Young come flying out of nowhere to grab that one. Well, they've gotten good contributions from their bench from Young and from Brody Hillis so far. Coming out of the timeout, Zebra, or coming out of the quarter, Zebra's uh, just not looking real energetic here on defense. Just kind of going through the motions. Going to try to have to find some energy. Right, and Lewis Cass only committed one turnover so yeah. far. Here is Cass with the basketball. Um, Rudd still has it. Rudd around Reinerts in the paint. Left hand layup, good. Bryce Rudd. Uh, Bryce Rudd with his first points to the contest. Quickly downs Rochester. Kaiser, three pointer from the corner. Off the mark, no good. Reinerts with the rebound, puts it back up short. Reinerts fights for his own rebound and doesn't get it, but it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lewis Cass. Johnson will come back in, and Pollock also coming back in for Rochester. A little close to a goal 10. It was very close to a goal 10. I thought maybe it was. Bowers looking to get it in. Prater has again, it in the, the corner. The official had a much better view than from where we are up in the 20th row. Here is Bowers with it. Bowers back to Reinerts. Reinerts top the key to Pollock. Pollock gets it up to Bogger. Here's Tanner, left wing, three on the way, good. Tanner's first field goal of the afternoon puts Zebras back to tied now. 13-13. Here is Johnson. Johnson off to Young. Young, top the key. Brings it near side to Rudd. Double dribble, yep. Lost the pass and then tried to pick it back up. And coming back in will be LJ Hillis. He's going to replace Young. And Lewis Cask was down 10-9 to nine when LJ took a breather and yeah. they tied the game. So, get, again, that's a sign their bench has been playing well. You know, Lewis Cass has been running Tanner Reinerts off the three-point line early in the game. There they let Tanner have the three, and he buried it. Zebras with the basketball. They try to go into Prater. Can't handle the pass. It's picked up by LJ Hillis. LJ Hillis ahead to Johnson. Oh. Blocked by Bowers. Drew Bowers. Bowers. Now out to Prater, or Reinerts. You've been Bowered. <laughs> Down to Prater, out to Tanner, three on the way again, good this time. Tanner found his streak, and now the Zebra's up by three, 16 to 13. Here on the other end is Rudd to the hole, up and good. Nice reverse layup. 16-15, five minutes to go before half. Bowers to Tanner, back to Bowers on the right side. In the corner, dribbles back out. Now to Prater, down low. Prater has it, travels. Yep, shuffled his feet. He should have just went up the first time with it. He felt like he needed a pump fake, and he yeah. just gone up with it really quickly. I think he might have made it. And now but we again, have... You, you trust. You trust his in. Again, you trust Owen's instincts. I mean, he had 17 points the other night. And uh, I don't know what. I don't know what that was. The official called Prater back to talk to him. They shook hands. Maybe he's buying him a Coke later. I don't know. 440 to go here in this first half. I mean, Owen's an honor roll student. Yeah. I mean, he's and he's not only that, but he's always in charge of his emotions. I whatever he did, he didn't mean anything by it, I don't think. Here is LJ Hillis with it. Now to Dieter. Dieter three from the corner off the mark. No good. Bowers with the rebound. Bowers will bring it right down the middle of the floor. It goes right side to Prater. Prater up off the glass, good. Owen Prater 
gets into the scoring column for the first time, and it's 18-15. And again, Owen's ability to finish in transition and traffic is just so impressive. And Brennan has it. Brennan. Dieter has it now off to uh, Rudd. Rudd tries to dribble that baseline again. He's cut off this time. Now to Brody Hillis. Brody Hillis got away with the travel. Now a foul called against Rochester. And that's on Tanner Reinertz, his second team first for the quarter. And now two free throws coming for Brody Hillis. First one is short. And he'll have a second opportunity. Three point lead for Rochester, 18-15. Just under four to go in the second quarter. Hard off the back of the iron, no good. LJ Hillis gets the rebound. LJ up against Reinerts is good. Hillis with four. That's a big time play by yeah. LJ Hillis. I mean, that was 18-17. It doesn't. Reinerts, elbow jumper, short. Dieter with a rebound. Dieter gets it out to Johnson. Johnson brings it down to the far side. Johnson, top of the key, now to LJ. LJ against Bogger, goes to the hole, and has it partially knocked out of his hands by Bowers, and Bogger picks it up. Bowers with credit two blocks. Who would have thunk it? He just blocked a 6'4 kid. <laughs> that's, why you, that's why you don't bring it down. Who's seven inches taller than he is. Three on the way for Reinhardt. No good. Rebound comes away to Johnson. I think Pollock might have gotten away with an in yeah. the back foul. Johnson has it. Top the key to LJ. Kicks it out to Johnson. Johnson fade away as he runs into Barger. Gets it off the glass. Good. And now we're going to have a foul. That one's going to come on Dieter, his second. And the team second. That will bring in Lau back. Dieter will sit down. 2.51 to go. Kaiser comes in for Pollock. Bazo's going to come back in, and he's going to replace Tanner. Tanner will sit down at the 2.51 mark. Tanner with two fouls. Pollock with two fouls. Trying to give them a little bit of break here as things are starting to get a little physical. Yeah, and I think the officials are blowing a few more whistles here to try to keep this in check. 19-18, Kings lead by one on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Here is Bogger with it. Bogger out to Kaiser. Kaiser to Bogger. He kicks it, saves it just in time before going out of bounds. Now they go to the near side now to Prater. Top the key. Bryce has it. Bryce against Rudd. Bogger to the hole. No good, but a foul coming. And if that's Brody Hillis, is that going to be his second? And it is Brody, his second. Team's, Team's third. I'd like to see Jonas Kaiser just go up with yeah. that instead of try and drop, drop it off to Bogger. I mean, it kind of put Bryce in kind of a bad spot mm. there uh, on the sideline. Bogger has two free throws coming. Bogger. Gets the ball from the official. Has an opportunity here to tie it with this first one and take the lead with the second one. First one's on the way. Nope. We're going to try to tie it with the second one. Zebra struggling. Wrestling update. Brady Beck, a regional champion at heavyweight. He pinned Anthony Popey of Plymouth okay. in 255. Pinned him today. Cool. Beat him by decision. Uh, the previous two times they faced. Bogger makes the second one. We're tied at 19, 220 to go here in this second quarter. Johnson will bring it across the timeline. Johnson comes to the near side to Rudd. Rudd saves it from going out of bounds. Now Lau has it top to Johnson. Swing it back to Rudd. Three on the way for him. In and out, no good. Rebound, Bogger. As LJ Hills and Kaiser tangle up. Bogger on the other end, goes up off the glass, fell, kind of fell away. Threw it up short. Lau Cass has a player down, and that's going to be Lau, and he finally gets up, but he's not putting a lot of pressure on. And he'll be replaced by Colton Young. Young will come in, and Cass will have it back on the far side. 19-19 with 1.55 to go here in this first half. L.J. Hillis gets it in. Hillis now gives it up to Johnson. 
Back to LJ. LJ has it. Zebras double team him. They get it up to Young. Young tries to go to Rudd, but throws it between everybody, and Johnson picks it up. Now back up top to LJ. Back to Rudd. Cross court pass to LJ. Down low to Brody Hillis. Brody double teamed in the block. Knocked loose. Ball's loose. John Prater has it. Now Prater. They did get the timeout. All right. I wasn't sure if they were going to award it or not, but the Zebras get a timeout. It is a Chicago next okay. Saturday. All right. Good luck to the wrestlers. Yeah. Bowers has it now with a minute 20. To Bogger. To Prater left or right side. Dribbles in, kicks it out. Drew, three on the way, short. Ball comes down and rebounded by Bogger. Gets it to Prater. Now to Bazo. Back to Bogger. Bazo, left side. Holds, gives it to Bogger. Right side now to Bowers. Prater has it in the corner. Now to Kaiser. Here's Bazo, three on the way, off the mark, no good. Young with a rebound. Young has it with under a minute, tied at 19. I don't think you can complain about the ball movement that much. No. The ball's been hopping. It's been but moving. Johnson holds with 45, now over the top to LJ. Hillis with the basketball on the near side for Cass. Now back to Johnson, right wing. They go down low to Young, trying to get it into the block. They can't do so. Rudd has it now on the wing. Penetrates to LJ. Hillis, three on the way. Good from the corner. That was a good look by Rudd. He's got five, no, seven, excuse me. Here's Rochester with it. Going to be a kick ball. It'll stay with Rochester with 19.1 seconds to go. Right in front of the Cass uh, bench. That was a really good pass by Rudd, kind of a diagonal pass that found an open Hillis in the corner. They throw it in the backcourt, and Bowers goes and picks it up. Bowers has it. Bowers with 15. Bowers now to Kaiser. Kaiser has the basketball. Now to Bogger, six seconds. Bogger back to Bowers. Bowers into Kaiser, kicks it out to Prater. Prater will not get it off. And that will do it for the half at halftime. Lewis Cass, 22, Rochester, 19. We come back, the halftime show brought to you by Rochester Iron and Metal. Lewis Cass only had three turnovers and I think only one of them was a live ball turnover. Force some turnovers and get a fast break going. How do you beat his own defense? Don't let it get set up. Yeah. And Lewis Cass's defense has been allowed to set up, and they have been pretty rock solid. Original five on the floor for Rochester to start the third. Bowers to Bogger, top of the three. Bogger off the mark, no good. Pollock with a rebound. Carson kicks it back out. Now to Owen. Prater has it to Bowers. Back to Prater. Prater on the floor, tries to kick it out to Bogger, but intercepted by Rudd. Turnover, Rochester. Here comes Sal, uh, the Kings. Kings have it. Original five back on the floor for Lewis Cass. Come to the near side now to Rudd. Oh, excuse me, except for Lau is not out there. Uh, Brody Hillis is. Lau went out with an in, knee, looked like a knee injury as they had ice taped on him at uh, halftime. Here's Rudd with it. Rudd has it. Minute gone by here in this third quarter, still 22-19. Dieter has it in the corner. Dieter pulls up his dribble, now gives it off to Brody. Brody Hillis down to LJ. LJ, fadeaway jumper, good, and a foul. Nine points now for LJ. And that foul. Prater picks up his first team first of the quarter. Really? Prater? Prater, first one. Yeah, I thought that was Bogger. They called it on Prater. Mm -hmm. And LJ with a free throw. Now makes it a 25-19 lead. That was not an easy shot. No, it was not. Here's Reinerts on the far side. Reinerts, one dribble into the block. Gives it up now to Bogger, to Pollock. Back to Bogger. Bogger has it top of the key. Bogger splits the top, goes up off the glass, gets it to roll. Good for Bryce. Five for Bogger. 25-21, four-point lead. Third quarter was huge at Southwood United when Rochester yeah. hit six threes. Let's see what they can do in the third quarter today. Scored what? Dieter has it to LJ. LJ trying to go down low to Brody. Can't give it to him. Gets it back to Dieter. Dieter into the paint. Leans in. Gets the roll. Brandon Dieter with his first field goal. 27-21. Lewis Cass leads. Severs have it to Reinerts. Into the corner to Bogger. Down low to 
Prater. Prater kicks it back up. Pollock, three from the top, way off the mark. And the rebound comes away to L.J. Hillis. L.J., coast to coast and around and going to get a block foul on Pollock just because of the sidestep that L.J. was able to do. Pollock picks up his third, team second. And L.J. will go to the line to shoot two. He's got ten points so far. First one is no good. Jack th- Reffitt coming in. I think what they told Owen Prater is when he catches the ball, make a quicker decision. I think he's, he's been kind of hesitating. Yeah. And, um, you know, again, I, it was a, it was a smart pass. He just missed the sh- uh, Pollock just missed the shot, but it's a shot he's been making. Free throw is good for LJ. He's got the lead now up to 7, 28-21. Here's Biggest Prater with game. it. Prater against LJ, kicks it back out to Bowers, three, top of the key, good. Drew's first field goal tonight. 28-24, Cass up by four, here's a little pressure, knocked out by Prater. It'll stay with Lewis Cass, but the Zebra is putting on a little pressure here. As you mentioned, trying to force some turnovers. You got a long way to go. And when you've been struggling, it's always, can we finish? Yeah. And this is a Lewis Cass team that's lost three in a row and 11 losses already this season. Johnson has it to LJ, back to Johnson. Johnson over the top to LJ Hillis. Hillis with a basketball. Hillis has it knocked loose, picked up by Reffitt. Great hands by Bogger. Bogger with the deflection. Now here's Bowers, goes down low to Prater, up off the glass is good. Prater has four. That's exactly more of what they need. Press again. Here comes that diamond press by the Zebras. Hillis has it. Gets it over the top to Johnson. Ooh, that was dangerous. Almost stolen. Kicks it back out. Rudd, three from the corner. Good. And a timeout by Lewis Cass. It's a 60. 31 26, 446 to go here in this third quarter. China FM and RTC TV. Coach France four. is going to put a little pressure on at least uh, Mr. Trey Johnson will. He's right behind Drew Bowers. This is Lewis Cass's 17th game. It's only their fourth or their fifth game at home. They're one and three at home. Wow. So now here is Bowers off to Reffitt. Reffitt has it now to Prater. Prater on the right side. Prater dribbles in, gives it back out. Bogger has it left side. Bogger to Prater, or to Reffitt, excuse me, Reffitt against Dieter. Lewis casting a man now. Bowers has it to Reinerts. To Reffitt, quick three from the corner, off the mark, no good. Reinerts with the rebound, up and good. Well, he just outfought L.J. Hillis for that rebound. He did. And Ten points now for Reinerts. You know, I was talking to some of the Southwood people after the game. They couldn't believe how strong Tanner Reinerts is. Johnson has it on the far side. Into the corner again to Rudd. Rudd goes down low to Dieter, but stolen by Reinerts. Tanner with the basketball. He'll bring it across the timeline. Four minutes to go here in the third. Bowers has it. Now to Bogger. Bogger, three on the way. Good. Bryce with his second field goal of the quarter. Assist by Bowers. Tie ball game. 31. To be honest, I thought Trey Johnson got away with a hand check, but yeah. they didn't call it. Johnson has it now up to Brody Hillis. Brody dribbles down to the block, goes up and good. Reinerts with two fouls, just kind of let him have his way. Now it's 33-31. Three on the way, no good for Rochester. Rebound, Rudd. Rudd gives it to Johnson. Johnson will bring it across the timeline. Nope, he'll give it up to uh, Brody Hillis. He's trapped right in front of the bench. Johnson has it. Johnson, Johnson has it. That was not a double dribble. They say it wasn't. LJ. Into some traffic, having problems. Finds Rudd underneath the basket, misses it. Partially deflected by Prater. Last touch by uh, Lewis Cass. Zebra basketball. I think Prater blocked it, yeah. or partially blocked it. Zebras want a timeout, and it's going to be a 30 second timeout. They trail by two. 2.56 to go, 33-31. On top of that, Trey Johnson missed eight games. Another basketball uh, final. McConaughey has defeated Western 98-78. to Josiah Ball with 50 points broke Bauer Maple's record of 49. So a big win for uh, Coach John Burris. He's a good basketball player, he Josiah is. Ball. He had 49 against uh, Peru in the holiday tournament. Just 
Here's Ruffin for three. Off the bench, Jack has his first points in the contest. And now Zebras take a one-point lead, 34-33. Wasn't Rochester down by seven like a second ago? Yeah, it seemed like it. Quickly ahead, it's, it's this defense that they've switched to causing some energy. And Johnson has it. Johnson gets into LJ. LJ bumped a little bit, traveled, no call. And the ball gets to run somehow. And he goes up off the glass. What a pass by Hillis, my goodness. 35-32. Down at the other end. Here is Bowers cutting through the middle. Travels. Bowers kind of ran into L.J. Hillis a little bit. Had to kind of bounce off of him. And it caused a turnover. Kings with a one-point lead, 35-31, under two to go here in the third. Excuse me, Bauer Maple's record was 45. Thanks, Ray. Into the corner goes Dieter. Dieter with the basketball. Dieter. Now gives it up to L.J. Hillis. L.J. Hillis to the rack and a charge against L.J. Hillis. It's going to be his second, team's second of the quarter. Just good help, help defense because L.J. thought he had gotten around the first yeah. two defenders and he ran into a third guy. Jonas Kaiser will come in for Bowers. Also, Young in for Dieter for you know, the Kings. I don't think I've ever seen Drew Bowers tired before, but that's we might be close. He, he really needs a breather. It's a, not a bad time for one there. He's really been working hard. One point King lead. 90 seconds remaining here in this third quarter. Tanner Reinert's really the point guard in this possession. Ruffett back to Kaiser. Kaiser now to Tanner. Reinert, top of the key, gives it up to Ruffett. Now to Kaiser. Over the top, now into the corner. Bogger for three, off the mark, no good. And a rebound goes over the top. Yeah, that's a foul. And a late whistle. I mean, it's a late whistle, but it's a correct whistle. I think it was the right call. It was about three seconds too late, and the Zebra yeah. fans did not like it. That's on Prater, his second. Right, and I think they were a little frustrated earlier. They thought LJ Hill has got away with a walk. Yeah. And that play where he got the assist. Again, I think the Zebras, that what they did that possession was fine. They just missed an open shot. The corner shot's going to be open against that 1-2-2 two, two zone. Young has the basketball. Now to L.J. Hillis. Hillis brings it up to Johnson. Down in the corner, now to Rudd. Rudd has it. Back to Johnson. Johnson, volleyball line. Down low, they go to Young. Young in the paint. Young is going to be three seconds. They're going to call a three-second call on Brody Hillis. Yeah, that play was just out of rhythm. It was yeah. out on Young, but that play was just kind of out of rhythm. So Bowers will come back in with 54 seconds to go. He'll replace Kaiser. Zebras will probably try to uh, run some clock here unless they can get an open shot. Yeah, I think if they can get an open shot, I don't, I don't know if they'll necessarily just play for one. It is worth mentioning that Lewis Cass is the next arrow. Bowers has it. Bowers picks up his dribble, back to Bogger, top of the key, right side, ref, and Hill likes his three, and he misses that one. And a quick rebound goes over to Young. Young with the basketball. Here comes Diamond Press again by the Zebras. Rudd, far side. Rudd with the basketball, still dribbling. Gives it up to Johnson with 28 seconds. Back to Rudd, into the corner. They go down low. Ball's knocked loose, and now we've got Hillis. On the baseline, out of bounds as he kind of rolls over. And he Should have been called for a travel in the rollover, but his foot stepped out of bounds. So either way, it's zebra basketball. Five turnovers this quarter for Lewis Castle for only three in the entire first half. Pressure putting him on here the last couple of minutes has caused us several of those. Reinerts has it with 12. Back to Reffitt with 10. Now to Bowers with eight. Bowers top of the key against Johnson. Gives it up to Prater. Prater guarded by Young with three. Prater to Bowers. Fade away at the volleyball line off the mark, no good. That time at least the Zebras got a shot off. Choices, decisions to make. Yeah. Here we go, fourth quarter. Cass with it, they inbound it. Johnson has it now top of the key. Johnson swings it to Rudd. Excuse me, that's LJ Hillis. Hillis now into Young. Young out to Dieter. Three for Dieter on the way, is good. Brennan Dieter with three. And now that lead stretches to four. Quickly well, down was Rochester. Again, not getting a, basically getting a terrible shot at the end of the third quarter was almost like a turnover. 
Three on the way for Reinerts, misses it, and the rebound comes away to Lewis Cass. Especially because, you know, Lewis Cass gets the arrow to start the fourth quarter. I mean, that was just very disappointing. Zebras and on defense. To be honest, I thought Young passed up a good shot in the lane, and but Dieter buried a three. Zebras in his own. L.J. Hillis has the basketball. L.J. down low to Brody. Brody loses it. Jump ball. Jump ball, zebra basketball. Excellent defense by Prater. So, and Carson Pollock will come back in now. He will replace Reffitt. You know, we, we talk about Jack shooting a lot of the time, but I think he's really been helped out defensively. He has. And he's a, he's a strong kid. And uh, we have a final score. Triton has defeated Caston 54-44. to Okay. Down low, and that ball just goes out of bounds. Prater did not get there, and turnover Rochester. And turnovers have not been the big issue for the Zebras. They, it's only number seven. Zebras in a, looks like they're going to be in a trap. Get it across half court. Hillis is trapped. Now gets it up to Young. Young loses it, picks it back up to LJ. LJ at the elbow, kicks it out to Dieter. Corner three on the way. Good. Back to back threes by Dieter. 41 34. Well, he had his feet set right away yeah. on those last two threes. Prater has it. Now they give it up to Bogger. Three on the way for Bogger. No good. Reinerts gets the rebound. Reinerts battles, gives it up to Bowers. Bowers into the paint, leaves it down low for Owen. Kicks it back out, and it's stolen. Turnover, Zebras. Brennan Dieter with the steal there. And now quickly down the floor, the Cass Kings. LJ out to Dieter. Dieter puts that one on the floor. Runs into Prater. Ball's loose, picked up by Prater. Prater. Pull-up jumper off the glass, good. Great play on both ends by Owen Prater. 41-36. Zebra's in a diamond. Bogger's the top of it. He'll force the ball one way or the other. Now they go to the far side with LJ. They try to trap LJ, and a foul coming against Prater as he wraps around him. And that's going to be Prater's third team first of the quarter. I mean, first of all, he stripped Prater. Then he had to run down the ball. Then he had to kind of pull up on a dime and shoot. Yeah. And then use the backboard. That was a Red will come back in. Dynamite and play. Brody Hillis sits down. L.J. Hillis looked inbound on the far side with 5.44 to go here in the, first, or in the fourth quarter. 41-36 our score. Cass leads into Dieter. Dieter has the basketball. Now to Johnson. Johnson gives it up to Rudd, back to Johnson. Right side, they swing it to Dieter, down in the corner to L.J. Hillis. Hillis, baseline, kicks it to Rudd. Johnson to Dieter. Five and a half to go. Cass being very patient, looking for that next person open. L.J. Hillis to the hole, throws, loses it. Johnson picks it up, up to the glass. Oh, good. What a bad break. Right place, right time for uh, Trey Johnson as he picks it up and lays it in. On the other end now, here's Rochester. Bowers with the basketball. Bowers into the paint. Gets his shot blocked, gets his rebound, kicks it back out. Nobody's there, and it's stolen by Rudd. Quickly ahead to Johnson, but too far over the top of his head in the turnover. Oh, that was sloppy. That, that pass did not need to be made. 43-36 with 4.57 to go. Reffitt's coming back in for Rochester. Next opportunity. Zebras get a break there. I mean, down by seven. That pass did not need to be made. Prater picks up his dribble, now tries to throw, and it goes off of LJ. It'll stay with Rochester right in front of their own bench. So Prater will sit down, and Reffitt is in. Pollock will inbound. Pollock looking to get it in. Gets it in the backcourt now to Bowers. Bowers will bring it across, guarded by Johnson. Bowers. Double team, now he'll get out of that. Go to the near side, reach in, locks it loose, picked up by Rochester. Bowers gets it back. 15 footer fading away, no good. And the rebound comes to Rudd. Good box out by Dieter. He didn't get the rebound, but he didn't let yeah. the Zebra get a rebound either. Johnson has it now on the far side. Johnson dribbles back to the middle. Now to Rudd and he loses it as he's going out of bounds. Bowers picks it up. Bowers to the hole, spin around, jumper, can't get the roll, gets his own rebound, goes up strong off the glass, no good. Rebound, loose again, 
And now we're going to have a foul, and it's going to be on Rochester's Bogger. Yep. And that's going to be Bogger's second, team second. A lot of locking arms and locking and locking and everything else going on. Getting pretty physical underneath. Here's LJ Hills, picks it up. Now to Johnson, quickly ahead to Dieter. Dieter to Rudd, Rudd's in the corner, brings it back up top to Johnson. Under four to go. 43-36, cast leads. Well, we, knew, we knew Johnson could handle it, and we thought LJ Hillis could handle it. What's really been impressive, that's going to be a foul on Reffitt. And now we're going to have double fouls again, and this one's going to be on LJ and Reffitt. And now they're going to talk to both players. So LJ Hillis picks up his third. Revit picks up his first. Coach Malco wants a timeout. Probably a good timeout here to settle things down with 3.43 to go in the contest. 43-36 gas leads. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Hillis gets it in to Rudd. Rudd back to the top of the key. Now they give it up to Dieter, Dieter's double team. Dieter trying to fight through it and we're gonna have a tie up jump ball. It'll stay with Lewis Cass, but nice job by Prater to get in there and tie that thing up. Yep, uh, again, Dieter's only a sophomore and uh, sometimes you just think you can hang onto the ball along the sideline. Okay, now if the double foul was a held ball, yeah, but it wasn't. They don't go to the arrow after a double foul. I think it just did. It went back to whoever had it. Whoever had it in that spot, and you inbound it. So it is it is Lewis cast ball yeah. on the arrow. So here's Rudd with it. Rudd right in front of Coach Brantz. Double team, gets it up to Dieter. Now to Ooh, Johnson. That ball barely got over. <laughs> now to Dieter. Boggers. To Young. Fingertips. Young down low against the Zebras. And he misses it. Reinerts with the rebound. Quickly out to Prater. Prater ahead to Pollock. Pollock lets things clear out, goes up off the glass, good. Seven for Pollock, 43-38. Here's LJ Hillis. Hillis going up the middle. Hillis, double teamed in the corner. They get it to Young. Young loses it, and now they're gonna call a blocking foul. And that's gonna be on Carson Pollock, his fourth, team third. Not a bad foul. So now to be out of bounds to uh, Cass. That's her last foul to give, and yeah. they were. Johnson gets it into Rudd. Rudd gets it in. Now that, here's LJ. They didn't. That didn't get trapped quick enough. That's got to get trapped yeah. quicker. Johnson with it. Now to LJ. LJ. Now to. Then out of Johnson in the corner to Young. LJ has it. LJ into the paint, running jumper, no good. Reinerts with the rebound. Quickly ahead to Bowers. Bowers tries to thread the needle, and we're going to have a kick ball. It'll stay with Rochester. Let's be honest, Zebras got away with a foul there. Yeah. They, they hacked LJ Hillis on his way to the hoop. I mean, LJ uses his off arm too, no doubt, but yeah. that's legal. What the Zebras did isn't legal. <laughs> There's a, a little bit of that is legal. Obviously, that's, we can talk for hours about how much you should get away with, but. Two and a half into Bowers. Three on the way for Bowers, off the mark, no good. And the rebound comes away to Rudd. Rudd gets it ahead to Johnson. Johnson dribbles back to the middle, now to Dieter, into the corner. Here is LJ as he drives the baseline. He'll go to the free throw line and shoot two now. As that if foul is called on Reinerts, his third. So now, L.J. Hillis at the line, shooting two. Two for three this afternoon. Defense was just too late and they left the baseline open. 12 points now, the first made a free throw. 44-38, Reffitt's back in, Pollock sits down. Dieter will sit down and Brody Hillis is in. And now, blood on L.J. Hillis, and he'll get uh, wrapped up here. He'll have to get that off his jersey. 
217 to go, 44-38 here at Lewis Cass High School. And again, they'll get the blood out of the jersey. I thought one of the big shots in that game was that uh, three-pointer that Rudd made in the third quarter. Yeah. Because he didn't, he didn't look confident in his outside <laughs> shot, and I think he's kind of a guy you want to shoot yeah. from the perimeter rather than driving and slashing to the bucket. But that was I thought that was a big bucket. LJ now back to the line for his second free throw. 44-38. Free throw missed. Rebound, Bogger ahead to Prater. Prater down the floor with it. 2.10 to go here in this fourth quarter. Bowers top of the key to Reinert. Nice job by Rudd going over the screen. To ref it, three on the way for Jack. Good. Boy, he's got such a quick release on that shot. 44-41, three-point contest now with under two to go. Biggest shot of Jack Ruffett's career, <laughs> at least so far. Quickly ahead is Cass to Johnson. Far side, back over here to LJ. Now down to the corner. Ball's tipped, stolen. Reinerts. Reinerts with the tip, Ruffett with the catch. Quickly ahead, and Johnson can't hold on to that one as he tries to steal that pass. It'll be zebra basketball on the far side. Dieter's going to come back in for Lewis Cass, and who's sitting down? Brody Hillis will. Bogger will inbound on the far side. Minute 38. I imagine Coach Brands has that with free throw shooting in mind if he needs to make somebody to make a couple down the road. He's going to throw it in the backcourt. Bowers will go get it. 44-41. Brody, or excuse me, Bowers with it to Tanner. Deep three for Tanner. Reinerts got oh, it. Oh, my goodness. 15 points for Reinerts, and we're tied at 44. They, Minute 20. They blitz the pick and roll, so Rochester turned it into a pick and pop. Here is Johnson with it now for Lewis Cass. Over to LJ Hillis. Hillis is going to be fouled against Prater. As they, Prater tried to reach in there and tie the ball up. It's going to be Prater's fourth. Send LJ to the line to shoot two. Hillis was one for two his last time there. Three for five for Hillis overall. Twelve points. And we got a timeout first. Boy, that last possession was interesting because Rochester said, Reinhardt said a high ball screen, and Lewis Cass blitzed it. They just yeah. sent both guys at Drew, so Drew was able to uh, dish it out to Tanner for the pick and pop three. But that was, wow, that was about a 26 footer. I was going to say, Tanner was way that was behind a, the line. I mean, did he use the phrase NBA three anymore? Yeah. That was an NBA three. Free throw is good for LJ Hillis. He has one more. One point lead for Cass 45 44. Minute 12 to go here in regulation. Free throw good again. 46-44. Here comes Bowers with the basketball, guarded by Johnson. Johnson comes to Bogger, gets the handoff back to Bowers. Bowers, down low to Tanner Reinerts against LJ. Tanner dribbles back out to Bogger. Bogger into the paint, up and up. They're going to call it travel. Wow. Coach Malco cannot believe it. And now Zebras will be uh, picking them up with 57 seconds to go. Full court press, trying to trap and get the basketball. Try to get the steal. They get it ahead across the timeline. Here's Hillis with it. LJ Hillis with the basketball. Now back to Rudd. Rudd to Hillis. Hillis will go in, and he's going to be fouled. And Reinerts, I believe, will be whistled for it, and he is. It's his fourth. So LJ Hillis back to the line to shoot two. Two-point lead with 43 seconds to go. Again, I, I think that was the matchup you wanted. I think, you know, I didn't, I didn't yeah. think Dieter could handle Bogger, but Rice just got his feet tied up a little bit. Free throw short. He'll have one more. 46, 44, 43.1 to go. Man, if you're Coach Brands, you're thinking this 43.1 <laughs> can't go. And again, like, like we talk about finishing, being able to finish. Free throw misses again. Gets his own rebound, but loses it out of bounds. Turnover, Zebra basketball. I mean, wow. Your most veteran player. Now we get a substitution. Reffitt will come out. Pollock is in. 
the guy you want. The guy you want in clutch situations, and he misses two. I yeah. mean, that's zebras catch a big break, and then on top of that, he he uh, loses the ball. Out loses of the ball out of bounds. Can miss a turnover on top of that. Bowers with it now with 35 seconds. High ball screen. Bowers so screened by Prater. Now off to Bogger in the corner. Bogger against Rudd now. Here's Bowers, three left side. High ball off the back of the iron. No good. Rebound to Young. Quickly ahead to Rudd. Rudd has it. And now Rudd. Nope, we got a timeout before the foul. Timeout, Kings. timeout Kings. It's a full 46, 44, 20 seconds left. Back after this, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Hillis gets it in the backcourt to Johnson. Johnson gives it back to LJ. LJ is they're going to try to foul him, and there they do, and Bogger gets him. Maybe a little bit of too, too much time gone off the clock, maybe? <laughs> no, I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah. Seven seconds off the clock. Uh, I, yeah, uh, I, I think you want to see if you can get a steal. Yeah. Take about five, six seconds. I, I, I don't have a huge problem with that. Hillis has two more. He missed his last two. I just would have rather have somebody other than L.J. Hillis shoot because he missed the last two. And he missed his three in a row now. He'll this, have one more. This is the Val Jinx. I mean, I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the last guy you want on the line if you're Rochester is L.J. Hillis. 13.7 left, two-point cast lead, and misses both. The last guy you want on the line is L.J. Hillis. Reiner has it, tipped out of bounds by Rudd. It'll stay with Rochester, but right here in front of their own bench. And now Rochester wants a timeout. 10.5 seconds to go, 46, 44. Zebras lead by two. It's a 60. We'll take it as well. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. Uh, right I, here at midcourt. Again, those end quarter situations in the second and third quarters they didn't take advantage of. Bogger will inbound. Bogger looking to get it in. Gets it to Prater. Prater holds down to eight. Hand off to Bowers with six. And now a foul coming. And, yeah, see if they can. they got plenty of fouls here to go as Johnson That's picks up That's another reason his. why you want to get something going. His first team second. They still got two more fouls to give. And Bogger will inbound right in front of uh, the Zebra bench. So the problem is if you throw the ball into the backcourt, that's the problem yeah. with it. There's Reinert's three, misses it. Rebounds tipped around, out of bounds, and it'll stay with, nope, it's Lewis, Lewis Cass. Cass. The way he didn't indicate, I thought maybe mm -hmm. it was. L.J. Hillis is telling all his teammates to get back. One second to go. They get it into Dieter and a foul. And are they going to foul it or are they going to wave it off? I think they're going to put a tenth of a second back on. The officials are talking about it. I think there's going to be time put back on the clock and Dieter's going to shoot free throws. We'll wait and see. The officials still talking about it right at midcourt. And you saw somebody get, you saw Dieter get hacked, and then you yeah. heard a, a buzzer. The officials are talking about what they want to do. I mean, I don't think it goes wrong call either way because I think you could argue. Nope, yeah. ball game. Okay. I think that's. And the Zebras lose a tough one here this afternoon 46 44. At the hands of the Lewis Cass Kings at Lewis Cass High School. When we come back, the post game brought to you by Perkins and Adley, the law firm built for your current and future legal needs. Again, on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard, Lewis Cass 46, Rochester 44. Back with more after this, Giant FM and RTC TV4. 